Hello and welcome to the Cleanup 2020 Robotics Arena Competition, sponsored by the Keene High School Robotics Club. Just want to go over the uh, floor plan here, the, the arena setup. So first off, uh, just to make sure everything's clear, if we're looking at our mat in this orientation, up there is the north wall, east, south, and west wall here. So You'll uh, hear me refer to this square here as the southern square. So if we go up here to that northwest corner, you can see we've got a bot there, and he's at the starting position. There's some part of the bot that is touching the north wall. There's some part of the bot that's touching the south wall. Get him nice and snug up there. Also, the, the cables are there touching there. So that's that's the only really requirements with respect to the, the starting position. Uh, your bot can be any size. There's no limitations on that. Um, partially because it's going to be difficult for us to uh, <laughs> hold you accountable on that. So anyway, let's kind of uh, work our way around the board uh, just in sort of the tasks and the points that are associated with that. Now, I'm going to try to avoid talking about the actual points because that, that might be subject to change here. But um, one of the, I would say, the easiest tasks, relatively speaking here, we're just going to start with, we've got a cotton ball over there on that target, and we've got a cotton ball right here on that target. And your goal is just to somehow to get those cotton balls to be inside this southern square here. Um, so if, you know, that, uh, as long as they break the plane of the square, then that's good. So at the end of the run, um, it, that cotton ball would count. And uh, this cotton ball would count. The, the, both of them could be in the same uh, rectangle or basically just as long as they break the plane. You can imagine that this line, that those lines of the, of the square extending upward infinitely. We've got another line all over here. If at any point those uh, they would uh, be inside those those planes, then that would count. Okay, planes in the geometric sense there. So um, going on to the tasks that are going to be worth a few more points. We've got two checkers, uh, two black checkers. Um, uh, there on the targets and the goal is to bring those black checkers also into the southern square uh, One of them both of them. That's your call uh, To get them somehow in here. They don't they could both be on the same side It doesn't really matter. However, you want to to do that um, So the theme here obviously is Cleaning up so we've got some some dust bunnies. We've got some dead bugs here. This is going to uh, this PVC coupler with the red checker on top and so that's going to be sort of centered on that center target that's going to represent a cup and uh, the red checker is going to be sort of like the liquid so as your bot is moving around um, if you disturb it um, but the checker is still on top at the end of the run no problem all right but if you, uh, if you move it too much and it falls off um, then there's going to be a penalty associated with that. You can consult with the rules to see exactly how many points uh, that's going to be worth. So, you know, you can bump it, you can nudge it, that's no problem. But if you bump it so much that it falls off, and at the end of the end of the two-minute run, that checker is not on top here, then you're going to uh, be penalized. Now, you know, I mean, if that, that you can you can dangle precariously, that that would still count. It's pretty clear cut if he's either on top of it or he's not. So, all right, next challenge. We've got some some more PVC couplers. And so if you look at the documentation also, you can see we've got those ovals uh, numbered one through 10. So if that's number 10, then this is nine, eight, seven. And so we're gonna have some PVC couplers and you wanna kind of, you wanna have them uh, about in the middle as possible. and obviously for your own team you want to be as consistent in your placement as possible because then it will make things easier for your your robot to uh to pick them up in the same location the idea is you have to somehow get a hold of uh one of these or as, as all three of them or two of them or whatever and get them up and over this wall and somehow into that box now we're going to be real lenient on this it um as long as some part of the coupler uh, lands <laughs> somewhere inside this box, and obviously, even if, if it kind of you know, if it if it lands and stands, hey, that's great. 
but if it lands in and then sort of rolls out, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of uh, pretend that this rectangle over here is a toy box. And obviously, if it that toy box would naturally have walls, and if you land it in there, then the walls would kind of keep it in. So partially in or whatever, who cares? What we're mostly worried about is if it if it um, if in the process, as soon as it goes over the wall, if it lands and hits in there, then you're gonna get those points, even if it rolls away just like that one did. So as many of these as come in, you get points for each one of those. And of course, they're kind of getting away from me now. Yeah. All right, come on, PVC couplers. So uh, obviously, my, in my mind, this is kind of the order of the, the, the hardest, or the easiest to the hardest. We also have three Legos here, and they would be in ovals uh, two, three, and four. Uh, color doesn't matter, they just, but they do need to be your standard two by four Lego brick, sort of the, the foundation of everything Lego. And you want to center them, they need to be centered uh, long ways, like this, so not uh, a little centered long ways, uh, north-south, okay? So the long ways run in north-south. And obviously the more precise and consistent you can get with that as your team, then the better for your team. The goal for those is to get them into this Dixie Cup. This Dixie Cup, standard Dixie Cup dimensions and details on that are on the, the, the official rules. Uh, you can see he's he's lined up with that line, <clears throat> uh, so uh, that might might give you some ideas. Um, try to get it as flush uh, as possible. Sometimes the tendency is to kind of get that lip over there, but we, we really want to try to get the the lip here flush with the the top of the board there. Um, and as for as many of those Legos that you're able to somehow pick up, oh look, I just was able to grab all three. They're inside there, oh, that you get points for that Lego, that, that, that Lego, but not for that Lego. If the whole thing falls down for whatever reason, but there's but when it lands, those Legos are still in there, hey, that's great. So well, basically the idea is for most of these um, tasks, we're gonna see what is the situation at the end of the two minutes. And um, we will have some, some rules um, and probably a future video going on sort of detailing how to how to do a video recording of the run, something like, I think it'd probably be most natural just to say something like, turn your camera on or turn your, your phone or your tablet on, say three, two, one, Lego. That's, we'll look at the, the timestamp for that. The robot will go and do its run. And then after two minutes, we'll probably say something like, go and kind of go over top of that uh, Southern Square so we can kind of see what's going on. Uh, go over here to see if uh, I guess we would be able to, if we were holding it in the back here position, we'll, um, we should be able to see really quickly if, if one of them landed in there. We'll kind of give you the benefit of the doubt if it lands up against the wall, because by natural, I mean, it would have landed in that, uh, that rectangle. And then, you know, come over here if you decided to uh, go for that Lego challenge. We'll go ahead and grab these guys and put them back in their proper location. And then the only other task remaining is that when that two minute uh, timer is, is over, when your, when your two minutes have expired, um, if um, any part of your bot has you know, broken the plane uh, of this northwest rectangle um, at the end of your run then, then uh, there's some more points that you're awarded. So I mean, if you wanna bring your bot all the way in, uh, that's fine. But it doesn't have to be completely in or anything like that. Just, you know, that would get credit. Uh, if you can imagine there's an invisible, uh, like, like, whole surface sort of extending up here. Yep, the robot breaks it. I mean, even at that point, if two minutes are called two minutes, and that's, that would count as well. So there's some ideas there for you to kind of think about. Anyway, I'm going to, this is just the, the robot trainer build, so not really giving away any secrets with that. Anyway, good luck. If you have any questions about the rules, um, uh, please email the address that's posted on the website. Um, uh, good luck. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you at the competition. Virtually, I guess. Anyway, thanks.